Imagine you're sailing peacefully through the crystal clear waters off the coast of Spain. The sun is perfect, the wind is ideal, and suddenly you feel a violent impact on your boat. Then another, and another. Something is deliberately destroying your rudder, and you can't see what it is. Over the past five years, more than 500 vessels have been attacked in a coordinated and intentional manner by Marine. Predators that have developed a specific technique to disable boats. At least seven vessels have gone to the bottom of the ocean, and hundreds of people have been rescued in desperate situations. Today I'm going to reveal the scientific discovery that finally explains why this is happening. And the answer will shock you. Let's start with the facts. Since 2020, Maritime authorities in Spain and Portugal have recorded an explosion of incidents involving coordinated attacks on vessels. We're not talking about accidents or casual encounters. These attacks follow a specific and frightening pattern. The animals approach in groups, identify the boat's rudder, and begin to destroy it systematically. They don't attack the hull, they don't go after people, they don't try to flip the boat. The target is always the same, the rudder. In August 2024, two vessels were attacked in the same region on the same day. The crew members reported feeling completely helpless as they watched their rudders being methodically destroyed. The truth is we were very scared when we realized they were hitting the boat, said one of the sailors. But here's what's most impressive. These attacks are spreading geographically. What started in waters near the Strait of Gibraltar has now been recorded as far north as Norway, more than 1,800 miles away. For four years, marine scientists from around the world focused on this mystery. The first theories were dark. Some speculated that the animals were taking revenge for years of ocean pollution and overfishing. Others suggested that climate change had made them aggressive. One particularly popular theory was that a specific individual had been injured by a boat propeller and was teaching others to attack vessels as a form of retaliation. But as more data was collected, the patterns began to make no sense with these theories. Why attack only the rudder? Why were there no human casualties if the goal was revenge? And why was the behavior spreading to completely different populations? The answer came when researchers began to observe something fascinating. The attacks were being transmitted, from adults to young ones. Animals that had never had negative contact with humans were learning to attack boats. This led scientists to a revolutionary conclusion that completely changed our understanding of what was happening. Before I reveal which animals behind these attacks and what scientists discovered, Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. What you're about to discover will completely change your perspective on animal intelligence and marine behavior. The ones responsible for these attacks are orcas. But we're not talking about just any population of orcas. We're talking about a specific group of about 40 individuals living in the waters between Spain and Portugal. A critically endangered subpopulation. And here comes the discovery that changed everything. Scientists determined that these are not attacks. They're games. That's right. The Orcas developed a cultural game that is being passed from generation to generation. Believe me, said scientist Naomi Rose, if they wanted to sink the boats, they'd be sinking the boats. They are really smart. Orcas are one of the few animals on the planet known to produce culture by passing traditions and behaviors through generations. Just like humans have fads that spread through society, orcas had them too. There have been documented cases of orcas using dead salmon as hats on their heads, a behavior that spread among different groups and then disappeared. Now, the rudder game seems to be becoming a permanent tradition. To understand why orcas specifically chose rudders, we need to understand how the minds of these extraordinary animals work. Orcas have highly developed brains and are capable of learning complex behaviors through observation. When one orca discovered that interacting with a boat's rudder created an interesting response, sudden movements, noises, human reactions, this became stimulating. The rudder offers resistance when attacked, 
creating a satisfying physical sensation. Additionally, destroying the rudder immobilizes the boat, allowing the orcas to prolong the interaction. Scientists observe that young orcas are learning this technique by watching adults. They approach, watch the game, and then try to replicate the behavior. It's literally an underwater school of naval vandalism. The behavior has become so refined that orcas have developed specific techniques. They work as a team, take turns attacking the rudder, and seem to communicate during the process. This discovery has profound implications. First, it confirms that orcas possess social intelligence comparable to higher primates. They are capable of creating, transmitting, and modifying cultural behaviors. Second, this puts sailors in a unique position. They are not being attacked by aggressive predators, but being trolled by some of the most intelligent animals in the ocean. Maritime authorities now recommend that navigators remain calm and silent during these encounters, trying to move away slowly. Attacking the orcas is not only illegal, since this population is critically endangered, but also ineffective and may intensify the behavior. Some naval engineers are testing modifications to rudders, like rough surfaces or spikes, to make them less attractive to orcas. Authorities are also developing real-time tracking systems to help vessels avoid areas where the group is active. The discovery that orcas are essentially playing with boats forces us to rethink our relationship with marine wildlife. These animals are not machines programmed only to survive. They have curiosity, creativity, and yes, a sense of humor. As one of the researchers said, this is not a whale problem, it's a people problem. They live there. That's their home 24-7. We just sail through it. We're in their living room. We are the guests. This discovery reminds us that we share the planet with creatures of an intelligence that we are only beginning to understand. If you found this discovery as fascinating as I did, subscribe to the channel for more content about the mysteries of the animal world. And don't forget to watch the video I left as a gift for you guys right here next to this one. You won't believe what I discovered.